Welcome! I'm Bio, and today I'm playing this. This is the final game as part of the, uh, this is the final game as part of, um, the <laughs> Tokyo Extreme Racer series I'm going to be playing. Yeah. It's been an interesting, it's been interesting looking at all these games, and it's interesting to see where it, it, it went to. So the very final game wasn't actually released as a Tokyo Extreme Racing game, probably because uh, Crave Entertainment probably owned the IP name Tokyo Extreme Racer, and this game was published by Ubisoft outside of Japan. So it's more than likely that um, this this game they, they couldn't get the rights to the name of Tokyo Extreme Racer, so instead they went with Import Tuna Challenge, which you know that's what it's based on, so that's fine. The game was released as Shutoku Battle X in Japan, so yes, it is a part of the Shutoku Battle series. Um, and yes, it's still developed by Genki, just that it was published by Ubisoft in the West. Uh, when it comes to who it was published by, it was published directly by Genki in Japan. There you go. Now, I'm actually recording this a bit strangely, in, if you're wondering. I'm actually recording the footage via uh, Elgato Game Capture, but recording my voice on OBS. Because Elgato Game Capture seems to fail at... Um, I just realized oh, fucking the volume was down for the for the game. Oh well, it is what it is. Um, yeah, Elgato Game Capture um, doesn't seem to like recording from my Sennheiser microphone, even though <laughs> it's on there. It just doesn't like it for some reason. I don't know why. But anyway, let's jump into it, shall we? Uh, it's gonna come up. Yep. No, we can. Yeah, we, sure, we can link that. Oh, don't 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 sign in. Don't sign in. Um. Okay. There we go. Uh, in case you're wondering, um, basically from this Xbox 360 to connect to the internet, for some reason, like, it, it must be the Wi-Fi, like the actual built-in Wi-Fi is so shit, because. This computer I'm using right now, my new computer, it's got oh, it, it's it uses Wi-Fi. It's got I've got this Asus shark fin looking motherfucker on the top of the um, computer, and it picks up the internet just like that, just so easily. Must have much higher strength or something. But the 360's Wi-Fi is capabilities is dog shit. I try to connect to the Wi-Fi, and it just it, it recognizes it's there, but it won't connect to it. Uh, so the only way for me to connect to the internet is have a wired connection, and I'm not just unplugging my uh, internet from my computer to go into there, it's just pointless. At the end of the day, I'm not playing online on this, am I? <laughs> so, looks like we've got all the regular modes. We've got quest mode, free run, time attack. We'll have a little play around with the free run. We'll see what exactly the free run mode is like in this game. Right, what okay, what car are we going to give us to choose from? We've got a few we can pick. Oh, there is a fair lady in here. Fair lady Z. Maybe we should play... Oh, we even have, like, two different variants of the Fair Lady. This is Sylvia, Skyline Coupe, GTR, Impreza. Oh, we got a Toyota Crown? Oh, we got to plan that. That is literally my favorite car in existence. I'm not even joking. My dream, one of my, it's my dream car to have. My dream car to have is a Toyota Crown. If I had, if I could go even further than that, my, my dream car is a Toyota Crown Century. Which, uh, four liter, yeah. I, I don't want the car, because it would be a nightmare to run, but I love the car regardless. So if I could have a Toyota Crown, it'd probably be, in, be an athlete. Which, you know, you can get like a, a, a 2.8 or a 2.5 liter for that. But they don't do Toyota Crowns here in the UK. I don't think they even do them in America. Not anymore. They still do them in Japan. So, oh, look at that. That's nice. Yeah, the graphics are pretty good for it. This is you got to remember this. This game came out in 2006, so it's a very early era Xbox 360 game. Really, the cars look pretty nice. So, oh, we can even actually look at the cars. Still doesn't beat the original. This is more like a, just a standard what you would expect from looking at a car. In my opinion, the best uh, car preview that I've seen from a Tokyo Extreme Racer game. It's probably one of the best car previews systems I've seen out of any racing game was from Tokyo Extreme Racer 2, where you could actually see the car in action driving down the road. It, yeah, I just like that. It's just an extra... It's just something a little bit extra. 
And if I if I had one of these, it would be in black, 100%. So, there we go, we've picked our car, we'll just course in, I don't know how, it's probably not going to be particularly fast. And obviously we want to play playing at midnight, of course. Do we have Wagan? That is the question. Shibuya, Shinjuku, eh, we could do the Shinjuku line. Why not, we'll do the Shinjuku line. Wait, 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 wait. go back a minute. Other car on. Yeah, I want other cars to be on, why would I want them off? But I guess it's cool that it allows you to pick whether or not you can have cars or not have cars. That's fine. I'm just going to do that. I just realized something. Yeah, you, you know, it's a bit experimental, but... I just realized that OBS would be recording. Actually, no, it'd be probably so so quiet it wouldn't matter. All right, let's go. I'm not actually looking at the TV when I'm playing this. I'm watching this. I'm playing this directly through uh, Game Capture, Elgato's Game Capture HD. That's what I'm watching. That's what I'm watching. I'm watching the the preview screen, which uh, there's no input lag whatsoever, so pretty good. All right, it looks nice. It's very similar. You have sparks come off when you hit the railing, that's fine. That's exactly what would happen. I like how it's got mile per hour. That's a, that's a nice change. Then again, I don't think the Japanese use mile per hour, they use kilometers. So I have a Japanese car, I have a Japanese import, I have a Toyota BB. And um, on it, it's got kilometers. Maybe they've adopted mile per hour later on down the line. Now, my Toyota BB is a 2001, so. Oh, get wrecked, boy. <laughs> There's literally like no kind of resistance there. Like I didn't, I lost speed, but I, nothing, it didn't, didn't, nothing major happened. able to go pretty fast in this car going 130 well, I was going 130 miles an hour there quite nice yeah, it, I like this because it's kind of challenging because you got oh no I smacked you oh so the X button this time, or the A button on the 360 controller. Like, as you think, this is, I am actually playing a game with proper, with the actual controller meant for the game. Forget that. Uh, can we reverse someone? I don't know if whether or not we can. Whoa. Okay, the drifting, drifting is still a little bit. <sighs> I'm probably just not doing it right. If I'm honest. Oh, we can have... Oh! That's cool. We'll go this way. Yeah, no, the drifting's not great. Either that or I'm just doing it wrong. I don't know. So you can still flash people down. Oh, I am going to have a go in the quest mode, because, all right, we've got a car coming up. Let's see if we can challenge him. Let's see if it allows us to challenge anyone. Probably won't. I think this is just for you to just drive around the city and get used to the... No, I don't think we can take him on. My, like, the Xbox 360 I have is an Elite, and it's making so much noise right now. I forget, like, this is the reason why I like PC gaming quite a bit. One of the reasons is, like, you can't hear the disc going, and you still get that. i got a PS4, and it happens sometimes. Don't have it always, but it does happen. If the Xbox 360 is, like, just, just a droning sound of, that's all you're hearing. 
Alright, let's do quest mode. Let's do a new game, why not? I am planning to play some more free 360 games as I've got it all set up. So we might as well. Okay, so we've got 3 million CP. We can pick a car to start off with. Are you telling me, though, there is a crown, but I'm just wondering if this is the only cars they have available? If that's the case, there isn't really much. It's kind of surprising. I'm going to go with the, with the Torch of Super this time around. Super's not too bad. Yeah, that's quite a nice looking car. Pretty sure that's what the Ruiner from GTA 5 is based off of. Is this a Toyota Supra? Now, you can see the spec. We'll buy this one. We'll buy it in... Uh, in... Why green? Why would you go with green? No, red's quite nice. Oh, you can even pick a... Oh, at least they've actually translated. Like, all this time, when picking this, you, you, you didn't know what you were picking. Now you can actually see what you're picking. I'm gonna go with Sendai. Six, six, six. The devil car. Oh, oh. Oh, we can. Oh, we can. We can have a really great number plate. Well, I think Phil, this is a. Uh... I feel like this is a. Uh... This is an appropriate number plate. King speed. Oh. Name just King Speed, really? No one knows where he went. But he was the king. Who will claim his title? I know, technically speaking, no one can claim his title if he's disappeared. Because no one can fight him and take his title away. The title doesn't get reset. At least as, as far as I know, the title doesn't get reset. So I guess it tells you what an initial torque is, isn't it? That's cool. What is this guy we're going up against? Emperor. And we've got suddenly Satan six 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 comes in. Suddenly Satan sixty nine. Going up against this dude. Satan sixty nine, coming through. Sendai. Oh. Ah, smack. Eh, music could do it a little bit better. You know, again, this is only one track I'm hearing, but could do it a little bit better. I win, I think. Oh, the 360 is so loud. Okay. It was sacky. Good race. I haven't been that excited for a good, a good long while. Now, let me guess what you're thinking about. You want to be the king of the hill on the metro. Am I right? Anna, I'm right, aren't I? Everybody who races these roads thinks that way, more or less. Hardly anyone ever actually makes it, though. We're just doing it for fun, you don't know. So, if you're more serious about it, start by taking over the C1 Loop, Bloodhound, Midnight Cinderella, and Platinum Prince. Oh, God damn it, these names. Look, this is the fastest races. Take them down, and you will be the de facto master there. And you might just run across them if you've got what it takes. If you don't, well, then by all means, you're just another run of the mill street racer, that's all. Yeah, but pretty much everyone's a run of the mill street racer. Uh, let's tune this up a little bit. 
Oh, you can actually see difference in the engine. That's pretty cool. So. Yeah, I'm just playing around, seeing so we get a few different things. Cool. Make this look completely different. You can make this look just completely nothing like. Look at that, that looks nothing like. Alright, so we've had a little play around with the with the with the, the look of the car. Put the course in. At night, why not? Uh, we'll do a Kanabashi. A new generation. Showing you what the cars look like, so imagine those three aren't the only ones you can challenge. I imagine there's gonna be more that come along that you can challenge. Look at the car now. Destroyed. So we just completely destroyed him. No, this is fun. I think, you know, this is wasted potential. Like, I wish they would do another game like this. It don't have to be Tokyo Extreme Racer, but it could be a spiritual successor to it. Like, the controls are fine, I think there is, like, a way, like, I don't think drifting is really, it's more about, like, racing fast more than it is, it's not, not, drifting's not really a part of it, you can, you can drift like this, see that, just drifted there, it's not easy, but you can do it, a bit of practice, you can probably do it quite easily, but... I 
going to slow down because I'm... Oh good, you can only you only have to flash him once, which is good. But the controls like feel very refined in this. Very, very refined. They feel quite nice. Getting, I'm, I am getting used. You can see I'm getting used to it. I'm getting used to it much quicker than I did on um, other the other games. So there we go. We got 150,000 CP from that. Very nice. So I'm guessing the green ones are the ones we've already t taken on and beat it. The blue ones are the new ones we've got to take on. I'm guessing. I think the number plate, the ability to customize the number plate is awesome though, I like that. Because, yeah, red as a color, Satan 69, yeah, that's uh, pretty fitting. Right, we're going to do one more, we'll do one more race and I think we'll call it there. Once again, we found another, another good, cool, like a game I wouldn't mind putting a bit more time into. You gotta flash him once once he comes up on screen. Digital killer. This ride might be a bit harder. Quite a bit faster than me. But you've just got passed, boy. Wow, you know, but then that other that other car fucked me up. Tough, it'd probably be tough to win this one. Oh, well, I pa managed to pass him, but then the other, that fucking civilian car fucked me over, so... Get out of my fucking way. Oh, God. It's alright. I am... Like, my style of racing has always been burnout every fucking time. I always try to knock cars off the road. <laughs> every time, no matter what. I'm not going to win this one. His car's got a little bit more performance than mine. A little better. Then... <laughs> yeah, no chance. Oh, so he's beating me. Yeah. Fair enough. But yeah, um, pretty good game actually. Pretty good. I actually kind of quite enjoy it. So, but uh, anyway, uh, I've been Bio. I hope you've enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video. Because we're going to be moving on to something different now. We you know we're done with Tokyo Extreme Racer. We're going to have a few. What I'm planning is a few Xbox 360 randoms, to f instead of PlayStation randoms for a change. Because, you know, I'm going to record a bunch of Xbox 360 games today. But uh, we got, uh, we're got going into a new set next. It's going to be anime related. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's going to be the, the final anime set for a while. I don't know what I'm going to be. Like I said, I don't know how it's going to go into 2021. But yeah. Alright then. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you again.